Christmas and happy holidays, everyone. As you can see from the beginning of the video, I got a little surprise I've been working on. It kind of has to do with why I got a black sled, so I hope you guys are excited, and let's reveal this thing. Sleigh bells ringing, diamonds blinging, carols singing, favorite season. Sleigh bells ringing, diamonds blinging, carols singing, favorite season. They said, say, Nick, but you got a bit in that bag, yeah. Racks in my sack, hurt my back, yeah They said, say, Nick, what you got up in that back, yeah I got racks, racks in my sack, hurt my back, yeah Snowball frozen, neck is frozen Catch me rolling, I'm the chosen Snow is falling, Elfie's calling Check my list twice, mostly y'all done Sleigh bells ringing, diamonds blinging All right, so as you guys can see, the big surprise was that I'm gonna be working with Deviant Ink this season. Uh, super excited that they wanted to work with me and I was able to customize my sled and make it all my own. Uh, that's probably the best part about having the black sled. Uh, you can do anything you want with the wrap color. Obviously, as you guys can see, I kind of did my own little variation on what the Backcountry XRS was last year. Um, I did love it black. I thought it looked really cool, but I know as soon as I get out into the parking lots and out on the trails, there's gonna be a billion black XRSs out there. So I uh, just kind of wanted to set myself apart and with companies like Deviant Inc, it's so easy. I was able to add the logos of some of the products that I'm running on the sled. So this season I have a 60 helmet that's obviously down there. Uh, CFR bars, Deviant Inc, gonna be an awesome sponsor to work with. Super excited about all that. The base color itself you can customize. So as you guys can see, I went with a red, black and white variation. And then I asked them if on top of that, I could do a little bit more custom, put the white hood on, like I said, the Backcountry XRS had last year. They said no problem. So as you guys can see, I, I not only have a custom wrap, but I customized it beyond what you can do on their website. And uh, they just made it super easy. I'm super excited to get out there on the uh, snow and have my own one-off sled. Um, I think it came together really well. And it really, I mean, it, it looks like a totally different slide to me. So um, I have the entire install video to come so you guys can kind of see any struggles I had, things that went really well, things I like. If you guys are interested in wrapping your slides yourself, go down below. I have a affiliate link to dvnink.com. You know, supporting companies like these that support me is huge. Uh, it shows that you guys are out there watching, you're enjoying the content, and uh, it's just a really big help. And otherwise, enjoy the video and enjoy your holiday. get this straight it's gonna be too warm to ride but it was supposed to be 52 degrees today which would have been perfect for what we're gonna be doing but um I guess I just can't win uh, I do have some heaters so in spite of the big f you from the weather uh, we're gonna make the best of it and I got some cool stuff coming for you guys all right so as you guys can see we're all set up um, I decided to do it in the trailer rather than in the garage I figured smaller space hopefully it'll uh, kind of keep heat better. On that note, I obviously should finally tell you guys what we're doing. You probably already saw from a little montage in the beginning and everything, but um, I'm super stoked to be working with Deviant Inc. this season. Uh, they reached out and wanted to work with the channel. So what we're gonna be doing today is installing the awesome wrap that they helped me pick out. I'm gonna kind of, throughout this video, talk about the wrap and the quality and the customization and all that. Um, but first things first, we're gonna get the factory decals taken off the XRS. A little sad to see him go, but this new wrap is gonna be so awesome looking that like you gotta have an open mind to keep moving forward, you know? So it's gonna look so sick. Um, I'm really excited. Hopefully we can get the temp up a little bit. Like I said, it was supposed to be like 52 today. It ended up being 40. So uh, the weather people can never be right, but usually it's whatever's the worst. You know what I mean? Luckily with the skidoos, there's not too many decals. Uh, these will come off. Um, obviously I've had people saying they <laughs> wanna see those come off the sled. Um, the skidoo on the front, these two panels over here, um, probably this nose piece. I'm not totally sure if I want to take the mustache off or like leave it. If it looks cool, I might leave it, but we'll see. Um, and then on the tunnel, I got the Bibbin sticker that's sadly got to come off. Maybe, uh, 
If Jeff wants to hook me up with a new one, I'll definitely put it on the sled. And on this side, we just have the, the VIN numbers and all that stuff. Uh, but yeah, we should be pretty good overall. And we'll start digging in now. Last time the sled's ever gonna look like this. Got most of the decals taken off. Use Goo Gone to get the sticky residue off. You can heat it up to get that off, but um, I found that it wasn't working that great for me. It's a little chilly out today. You know, I got the heaters going and stuff, so had to use a Goo Gone. In this bottle, I have um, alcohol mixed with water, and I use that to kind of clean everything up afterwards and clean the whole sled down. So I um, cleaned off the tunnel, cleaned off the console, the headlights, this whole side. So some cool stuff about the wrap. This is obviously uh, the tunnel part, upper tunnel, sides of the tunnel. Uh, kind of got some cool little uh, accent decals you can put on if you want. So they have the little Deviant Ink uh, mother wrap, which I thought was pretty cool. Uh, they have these uh, just kind of like circle with the skull Deviant Inks and then the Deviant Ink logo itself so definitely some cool little features they send you this so it kind of helps you understand the placement another cool thing is you can choose your finish so i actually went with a matte finish they have a gloss finish an option i don't think you see it every uh wrap manufacturer so something really cool to have update on how everything's been going um all of the vinyl quality is like crazy good it's super thick and um really sticky so it definitely does like a good job and i can see a lot of protection coming from it this is the fourth wrap I, i've done the first one was like a factory decal swap this the other three were full-on wraps so i have a decent amount of experience i've done two wet and two dry so with this one, I um, I started dry and I was able to like do the tunnel dry. I've been able to do the left side of the sled dry. You can see I have all down here done and up through the, the side panel there. Um, I had some trouble right off the bat with the left front. I think it's really cool that Deviant Ink is able to kind of have such continuous pieces, especially on the hood. When you're trying to lay this big section here, it's like you, you start to get this section good, 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 and then this is off. And then if you start here and this starts to stick, you know, then you gotta kind of try to work back out. And I unfortunately ripped it right here. I'm super bummed about that, but I was able to do the left side much better. Um, I was able to do this one dry. And uh, just what I did was I started here, got this all lined up, and then the rest kind of all came together. It's kind of where I'm at for now. Um, gonna keep working on the hood section. I've got all down here done through there. Um, there's still a piece that has to go up here to kind of fill that gap in. Um, and then I've been hitting everything with heat as I go along, but I'll probably have to, you know, kind of go back over all of it with some heat at some point.
moving right along. Got the rear section of the tunnel put on. Um, I still have some sections that can go on the uh, taillight housing and stuff. I have pretty much all of the left front cowling done. Uh, I got all that under section done. And then I think that's pretty much it. I got behind the panel done. Looking pretty good. The more color change there is, I think the more it looks really custom. Like over here you can see there's still a lot of black left. And uh, it really just starts to come together with how awesome all the coverage is on this. It does make it a little bit more tricky to install, but like you can see on this hood, there's like no gap. You know what I mean? So this under section where the top meets the bottom, there's obviously gonna be a gap here because this is where the two panels come apart. So you don't want, you know, overlap on that, but um, just looks awesome. Really small panel gaps everywhere. And uh, yeah, just coming together really good. All right, kind of call it there for tonight. A couple hours of work. Um, I did, like I said, these lower sections of the panels. Definitely ties together better. Did the back side of the side panels as well. Um, the only thing that sucked was I was just kind of buttoning up some spots. And the uh, heat of the heat gun, all I did was nick this. And it freaking, I don't know if you guys can see that. There it is. And it popped a hole in that. So I've heard that can be an issue, and it definitely was. All right, Brap Gang, so that's as far as I made it before I had to start filming the video in order to get it out on Christmas Day. Um, super happy with the final result. Like I said, the panel gaps on these Deviant Ink wraps are just so small, it really helps complete that like full color change look. Uh, you can pretty much do anything you want on their website as far as the colors you want. And like I said, you can go even above and beyond what the wraps already are and add different things like I did with the white hood and the logos of the gear you wear or parts you might have on your sled, things along those lines. If you do have any trouble as far as like you rip a piece like I did on the hood, or if you know you crash your sled and have to replace panels and then rewrap it, I'll put a link right here and down below. You can go there and with your order number, Deviant Ink can reprint the exact panels that you need uh, to kind of tie the sled back together so you don't have to rewrap the whole thing. You can just replace pieces that might have been damaged. Just want to thank Deviant Ink again for working with me. Uh, check them out on Instagram. Go check out their website. Even if you don't buy anything, it's cool to customize your sled and see what you might be able to do. Um, like I said, this is just the best way to make sure you have the most custom sled. Obviously, it's cool that companies offer, you know, a custom look from the factory, but even with like Polaris' snow check, you might think, oh, this is such a custom sled, and then you get out on the trails, and it turns out that's a really common color that people went with this year, XYZ. So even if, you know, you still run with whatever your stock color is, like a lime, and you just add kind of a, a cool look to it, uh, that's something you can do with, with Deviant Ink. You can do certain amounts of coverage. So if you don't want the tunnel or you just want the panels, things like that, you can do it. Um, it's really awesome. And like I said, you have your choice of finishes, just a, a great product overall. And I look forward to letting you guys know how it holds up over the season. And I hope you guys have a happy holiday and a Merry Christmas. And hopefully the next video we will be riding.